Welcome, I am going to show you how to make a cool little juice cup out of clay. Step one, you want to make sure you prepare your workspace, make sure you have your slab roller ready, your clay, your newspaper forms, your tools, all that fun stuff. So we are going to cut a slab of clay approximately one inch. So take your wire tool, cut your clay approximately one inch. You do not need to hang on to your wire tool for the rest of the hour. You can put that back. Next thing you're going to want to do is angle this clay down. You want it to be on a slight angle so it's easier to go through the slab roller. Get it lined up. Otherwise you will be breaking the slab roller and I would appreciate that you not do that. You roll the clay through carefully, hand over hand. Next step, you are going to clean off the clay, kind of get those um, textures off of here. So I go through, I'm using one of these lovely little red tools. Feel free to use your student ID, an old credit card, really anything that you find, even your fingers will work. You just want to get rid of that texture, otherwise you're going to spend a lot of time smoothing your clay cup later to get all that texture out because those are all areas that bacteria will stick to um, after you put stuff in it. Next step, I take my wooden form and I'm going to simply put it on here someplace and kind of trace around it. I'm going to cut out a clay circle. Doesn't have to be an amazing clay circle, just enough to uh, get it rolling. Next thing, you'll find these little three and a half inch forms. That is roughly the size that we're going to use for our juice cups. Coffee mugs, we're going to use a little bit bigger later in the school year. But for today, we are simply going with a three and a half inch by 11 and a half inch form. Um, why 11 and a half inches, you might ask? Simply put, that's what it is around our plastic form. extra clay we're simply going to put back in a pile next kid will use it next teacher will use it something okay here comes maybe a tricky part you're going to take your piece of newspaper you are going to wrap it around your clay form or your plastic form it's okay for the newspaper to overlap a little bit you want to try to get this bottom edge lined up almost perfectly if it's a little wonky, that's okay, but you don't want it to be too off. Next thing, you're going to take your clay, and because we're going to be pressing this side piece of clay to the bottom piece of clay, you want to actually have the clay sticking down from the newspaper approximately a quarter of an inch. So I'm wrapping this clay around the newspaper now, if you maybe have a little bit too much clay, now is a perfect time to go ahead and cut that off with your needle tool. If you have a little bit too little clay, now is a perfect time for you to press that clay and try to stretch it out a little bit. Either way, you wanna spend a few seconds right now working on getting this seam as amazing as possible. 
you should still be able to move the clay around your form. Very important. Your next step will be to grab one of these little pieces of circle newspaper. They're not cut out exactly perfect. They're quickly cut out with a pair of scissors. You can get about six of them out of a half sheet of newspaper. And then you take your form, your clay that you just cut out, kind of press it around to get that concave shape. Now you're going to start working your thumbs and fingers together to start smoothing out this clay. Very important that you spend a lot of time on the seam where the clay comes together. And very important where you work on this bottom piece of clay meeting with the side piece of clay. Those are the two places that your cup will fall apart if you don't spend some time working on it. The glaze will cover up some of those mistakes on the inside but they won't cover up all of those mistakes on the inside. So you want to spend a lot of time really smoothing this out. Your next step is to get this perfectly smooth, get rid of all of this ugly texture along here. We'll put a cool texture in later as we work, but your job is to work on getting this texture off now I know this might sound absolutely ridiculous. I showed you a six minutes of how to do this, but you are essentially done for today's class period. So your next step is to remember what state is written on your form. You are going to put it inside one of these bags, and then you are going to roll that up so it is nice and dry. 